I wanted to go over the changes to the AP test that I found out about um, and just kind of go over what to expect and all that good stuff. Um, so here's what I know. The test is now going to only be two questions. This is crazy to me. Um, they've taken away all the multiple choice, so there's no multiple choice. Um, so it's only free response, and in the past there used to be six free response questions. Now there's only two free response questions. Um, I know that one of the questions will be 15 minutes long and the other question will be 25 minutes long. So you'll be timed and then they're going to give you five minutes to upload um, upload your answers in between. Um, you can type your answers or you can take a picture and upload a picture. Um, so this would be similar to what you guys have done even for this class uh, where you've taken a picture of your worksheets and then um, sent them in. Um, you might want to practice making that picture a PDF rather than some other file. Um, you can learn how to convert screenshots into PDFs. Um, if that's something you need help with, let me know. Um, you are going to be allowed to use your notes. So it's open notes, it's open book. Um, you can use your calculator like always. Um, you get the charts and the formula sheet. Um, I mean, now you technically have more than just that formula sheet. So we'll be able to write all the formulas down that you're going to need. You won't have to worry about that part at all. That's huge. Um, let's see. Uh, Chapter 11 and 12 are not on it. So therefore, we're not going to even cover them. Um, and there's also going to be no investigative task. Um, this was... I used to refer to it as the sixth question and I said how like I couldn't really totally prepare you for it because it's always a little weird it's something that you haven't really seen before well that's not going to be on there anymore so it seems like this test is going to be cut and dry um, stuff that we have covered in class um, so that's really good news um, so what I want to talk about are the four major topics that are going to be on the test. Now, yes, there's only going to be two questions, but likely it's going to be like parts A through D. That's typically how they are. Um, and usually they get more difficult as you progress. So part A will start off really easy. Part B will get a little bit more intense and then it just ramps up. Um, here are the four major topics. The first is called exploring data. And the chapters that encompass exploring data would be chapters one and three. So here's some, here's some things from those chapters that we're going to need to review. Um, categorical variables. Um, and then how to display those. So we did bar graphs. We did um, segmented bar graphs. 
um, we did mosaic plots. Um, we did pie charts, even though I don't like them, uh-huh, uh, and two-way tables. Um, and then we had quantitative data and the um, displays, the distributions we used to show those were dot plots and histograms and um, box plots. and stem and leaf plots. So I could almost guarantee that you're going to have to make one or more of those. That would probably occur in part A because it's usually pretty easy to make these graphs. And then it's probably gonna ask you to describe the graph. So we have two acronyms for that. If you have one variable, then you are going to use the acronym CUS to describe that graph. If you have two variables, the acronym that we used was FUDS. And this was when we made scatter plots. And that was from chapter three. Um, let's see. Some other things that um, come up in this exploring data um, would be things like mean, standard deviation, first quartile, third quartile, interquartile range, which is IQR. Um, let's see, for scatter plots, we had correlation which was R. Um, we had R squared, we had S, we had um, outliers. Oh, we had outliers up here too. Um, influential points. Um, residuals. Let's see, yeah, um, regression line. Okay, so that's pretty much um, the first topic. Okay, so that's the exploring data topic. So that's pretty much chapters one and three. So. Um, likely you're going to have to make a graph and talk about a graph and find information that pertains to the graph. Usually this goes well. We just need to do a little review on it just to refresh your memory on some things. But in, in most cases, this stuff goes well. The second major topic is um, sampling and experimentation. And this was from chapter four. So this was the chapter that had all of that terminology. Um, like cluster and um, SRS and blocking and, you know, like all of those um, stratifying and stuff like that. Um, so this is um, a chapter that we definitely need to review. This was a chapter that um, caused a lot of confusion. So we will definitely be going over this. Um, the next big topic is probability. Probability. 
and um, also simulations. And this stuff was from chapters two, five, six, and seven. All right, so here's some of the things that we learned. We learned about z-scores. Um, and we did um, stuff when it was just a single person or a single subject, like your own z-score. That was from chapter two. But then we also did z-scores for an entire sample of people. And that was from chapter seven. So we have to review the difference between those because your formulas are slightly different. Other probability topics were like mutually exclusive, independence, uh, we did problems where we had um, like the probability of A and B or like the probability of A or B. We also had um, the probability of A given B. Those were conditional probabilities. Um, we had tree diagrams and we had Venn diagrams. So those are very traditional kind of probability questions. Um, we had um, probability questions about random variables. These were tougher. These were problems that were like the cup and cone. Um, so this was like when you're adding random variables or you're subtracting random variables or multiplying by a constant. Um, we had all those different rules. We're going to be able to write all those rules down which is going to be awesome. Um, and you'll be able to use those on the AP test. Let's see, we had binomial probability. Okay, and then there's only one other kind of probability that we didn't yet talk about, and that's geometric. And it is very quick and easy to talk about. It ties in with binomial. I will cover that when we get to the review of this. You'll be able to pick up on it really quick, but also, I mean, you can have it written down in your notes, um, like, a, you know, if we make a nice note sheet to review for the AP test. Um, so that is all the probability stuff. Um, this is usually a weak spot for students, so we will for sure um, review this and go over it. All right, and then the fourth topic is inference and that is what we covered in chapters 8, 9, and 10. So we no longer have to cover chapters 11 or 12. Those would have also been on inference, um, but they took those off of the AP test. Um, inference is panic and phantoms in a nutshell. Okay, so I think you're going to be guaranteed to have a problem where you have to make a picture and talk about it. I could see them tying in the picture and the data in with a panic or phantoms problem so they could cover those two topics in one. Um, maybe they would have you I don't know how they're going to tie in sampling and experimentation, but they will. They'll, they'll probably talk about gathering a sample of people or subjects in some way. And then maybe from that sample, you're going to find a z-score. So like kind of like chapter seven, finding a z-score and some probability work. But they could do probability, you know, they could break it up where they've got like parts A through D, let's say, and they could test you on kind of all of these probability in one question. I think that's very possible. Um, so I can see how they would be able to cram all of this into just two questions. Um, if I had to guess with the inference, um, 
my guess would be it would be a two sample or a two proportion or a matched pairs just because those are more involved. Um, yeah, so we will review all of this. Um, and what I want you to do is um, go and um, take the Google form survey. Um, I just need to get some more information from you guys on how to proceed with moving forward with online school and reviewing. All right. Have a good day.